All right, it's setting up my meeting on YouTube. Okay, awesome. I think we're good to go. Okay, well, hello everybody. This is Cleta Colson Air. It is 2020202020, February 2nd. 2020. And so it's one of the rare times that the date is the same forward and backwards. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for calling in. It is Super Bowl Sunday and halftime just ended. Um, I'm not going to make any comments on what I thought about that halftime show. Um, I guess the positive thing I can say is that they were 50 something and like, and, you know, 43 and 50 years old doing the dance. But in my opinion, it could have been a little more close on the women. But anyway, that's just me. But I'm rooting for the Chiefs. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm praying for some touchdowns by the time I get off this boss babe call. So we're not going to go too late tonight. I do have a little bit of training for y'all on um, this magazine that I came across today. I mean, this week. And I posted it. Some of you that are following me on Facebook or Instagram might have seen it. But it's from September 1993. And I was in Mary Kay. I had been in Mary Kay um, for, well, I've been a director for about four years. And I had been in Mary Kay. I joined in 85. So whatever that is, like about, so eight years. And so I found this. And I remember when I was going through my Applause magazines, I was, I cleaned out my office. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to keep a couple of these because these, the ones that Mary Kay was actually on them because they were so pretty, you know, and this is just such a beautiful picture of her and of course she was alive and well back in this day and so I have just gotten the biggest kick out of this I actually scanned it and shared it with my boss bank group at the whole entire magazine and so you can look through it and like the nationals like all the top directors they're all nationals now and it's just so cool to see you know everything in here and like it's so funny like even this very first page this was the 30th year anniversary and it says 30 years of glamour and it has the 60s the 70s and the 80s and then the 90s you know and so i'll show you all this picture so isn't that something it and it's funny i'm like well hey she looks pretty good for the 90s i think we're all going back to the 90s anyway i see the you know the um jackets are coming back in and you know long uh, longer jackets i've been watching these trends of 2020 and so it's pretty cool but the thing that i wanted to show you and i wanted to read you just a little tiny bit is they had this um some training from mary kay and it was called uh, vintage mary kay and i shared this at our sales meeting for so for some of you that go to my sales meeting i know y'all have already heard this from me but i thought it was so good and this is from Mary Kay herself. And so I'm just going to read a little bit of this to you. We're going to talk about it. And then in here, I've got all the news I'm going to show you. Okay. So, okay. So this is um, Mary. Well, let me just read this first part. It says Mary Kay's personal gift to Star Consultants during the 30th anniversary was the Pearls of Wisdom cassette tape series. And so we used to get these cassette tapes in the mail. I mean, I used to have stacks and stacks and stacks of cassettes. And everywhere I went in the car, I would listen to a, a, a tape, you know, and then they came out with CDs and then now it's downloads, you know, <laughs> and it says the series narrated by Mary Kay and, and excerpts below, which I'm going to read to you, fulfills her wish to create an informal oral history of the company for now and generations to come like us right now. I think it's very important to have these tapes for posterity so that one day when the granddaughters of consultants and directors ask questions, they'll have the answers. And isn't that funny? Because right now, you know, we have those, we have those answers from her and it is the granddaughters of Mary, of these consultants and directors. It says during her 30 years as a founder, well, first she said, I have often wished I could go back and ask my own grandparents questions about things we, we and the family have no clue about today. During her 30 years as a founder of this company, Mary Kay has served as motivator, sister, mother, counselor, role model, and so many important roles that it's impossible to name them all. And within all of these roles, Mary Kay has shared her thoughts, her dreams, her prayers, and devoted her full energy to answering your questions. Surely some of Mary Kay's pearls of wisdom will guide you in your life and career as the dream continues. And so I'm going to read, she had just some little excerpts, little paragraphs on her dream, time management, women, the golden rule, goal setting, and Mary Kay. 
And then I'm going to read you a little funny, cute thing too. Okay. Okay. So it says, uh, Mary Kay on the dream, her dream. She says, sometimes I wonder if my mother was aware of the seeds she was planting in my life as a child and where they would take not only me, but thousands of other, other women. What she sent into my life, I sent to others and they turn has and sent and they in turn have sent what they have into many others as well. The seeds planted in 1963, which is when the company started, have flourished and have been nourished by thousands of women. Those who went beyond the bounds of what their peers expected, what their families expected, or even what they expected of themselves. I always thought of myself as someone who was simply setting right something that was not going right in God's wonderful world. It's really true that I was driven to do this. I just think that is so awesome to hear Mary Kay Ash, our founder, say this. Okay, so this was on, that was on her dream. Okay, so just setting things right that she saw were wrong, which is the uh, inequality in workplace and the women, uh, inequality of women in the workplace. So this is Mary Kay on time management. She said, she was really big on this too, you guys. I can remember so many times teaching on this. She said, every morning you're credit, credited with 86,400 seconds. Every night it rules off as lost whatever you haven't used for a good purpose. Every day when I leave my office, whatever's on the desk that's not finished goes into a pink Mary Kay bag. I take it home with me so that the next morning I can start with an absolutely clear desk. To me, that's been the means of keeping frustration to a minimum. When you have too much to do, you don't get anything done. So I clean off the desk every day. I take it home and get up at five o'clock in the morning mm -hmm, in order to get yesterday's correspondence done. And she did this all the time. And what y'all may not know about Mary Kay is that her husband, Mel Ash, he was kind of an old fashioned guy and he liked to eat. I think it was, I think what he said, I think if I remember correctly, it's probably in the autobiography, but it was like at seven o'clock every night. And he liked to have the food prepared, you know, by Mary Kay. <laughs> so she would, they talk about how she would run, like whenever, whatever time she had to leave, she would just clean it all off, chunk it in that bag, and she would get home in time to cook Mel's dinner and have that sit down family time. And then, you know, she would spend time with him, but then she'd get up at 5 a.m. and do two, two or three hours of work before she went into the office. Isn't that something? So we could learn, she called it the five o'clock club. And she used to have directors sign up and um, they'd have to, we did either have to like commit in some way that we were going to be on the five o'clock club. And if we did, then she, she said that she might just call you one morning at five o'clock see if you're up. I don't know that I ever committed to that. But anyway, I think it's a great idea. Okay, Mary Kay on women. She said, I've always believed that women can be successful and feminine at the same time. Our company began when women had begun to lose faith in their ability or didn't have any. So they decided the only people that were successful were men. And I just thought they were on the wrong track. And then this is Mary Kay on the golden rule. And you know, our company is big on like Miss Go Give and the golden rule. It says our golden rule was gleaned over many years of watching people and realizing that if you want something, if you want someone to do something, you have to treat them like you would have them treat you. Yet I'd say the idea of the golden rule still doesn't have great listeners in the corporate world even today. I understand they're teaching some of this at business schools now as if it was a new idea. So Mary Kay has always taught us to treat others as we'd have to be like to be treated, which is the golden rule, which is in the Bible. Okay, and then this is Mary Kay on goal setting. <clears throat> she said, once I decided to paint, I read the story of Grandma Moses and decided that if an elderly lady could do it, I could too. And I went on to the art supply store and bought one of everything. The manager thought I was an artist when I really could not draw a crooked line. On Sunday afternoon, we came home from church and I said to Mel, which is Mary Kay's late husband, today I'm going to paint my masterpiece. And I did. I was finished by that evening. The interior designers didn't know it was my painting it, when they decided to hang it in our corporate offices. And Mary Kay used to paint. I have a little a picture and I should have brought it to show y'all. Um, but it is a picture of a girl that she painted, has a yellow background. And I bought a bunch of them and I used to give them to my new offspring sales directors. And just because it's so neat to have something that Mary Kay painted and, you know, she had some reprints made. Uh, for the sales directors to purchase. And so, I mean, it was just kind of cool. That was her sideline, her side thing. And it says, Mary Kay on Mary Kay. 
She says, the funny thing is, I'm exactly like you. There's no difference. Sometimes you see me at seminar with all those pretty gowns and jewelry and all that business, but that's not really me. The real me is out planting pansies and doing the shopping. And so she was really, really big on uh, couponing. She loved coupons and collecting coupons. We had our fall advance here um, in November and Raul Dominguez from Mary Kay Corporate came and talked about how his mother used to, he, his mother and Mary Kay were friends and that they would always see each other in the grocery store and that she would always talk to Raul and she spoke to everybody and she would tell him that one day you're going to grow up and work for me. And that's what she would tell him. Isn't that neat? And so he said that she was a big coupon cutter, big, big. And that she would sometimes, she said she would call people in the office and they thought they were going to get reprimanded about something. And then she, she would have, she would have cut out a coupon that she thought that somebody might want like for something like maybe she saw them eat some particular type of food or whatever. And she goes, I got this coupon. I thought you might like this because I know you like whatever, like hot wings. Isn't that the cutest thing? So I mean, Mary Kay just was a real person. I mean, it's just pretty cool. And so um, I'm going to read you these fun, fast, fun facts about Mary Kay. And then we'll go to the spring colors. Okay. <laughs> these are fast, fun facts about Mary Kay, our founder. All right, her nickname since age three was Caddy. I think that's hilarious. I, I mean, I mean, maybe that's why later she wanted a pink Cadillac. I don't know. Um, her family, she had sons Ben and Roger. I mean, sorry, sorry, excuse me, sons Ben and Richard and her late daughter Marilyn. 16 grandchildren and 21 great grandchildren. No telling now what that is, right? Almost 30 years later. Her favorite Mary Kay memory was when Daylene White and Helen, Ma Helen McVoy opened the doors for NSD. They were the first two national sales directors. People would be surprised that I like to grocery shop, garden, and cook. Her best asset, is, she felt, was understanding and loving people. To unwind, I watch TV and videos. When I'm worried, I pray. My favorite city, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. My favorite destination, vacation destination, is Venice or Hong Kong. Uh, my all-time favorite movie is Sound of Music. <laughs> the best book I ever read was the Bible and think and grow rich. My favorite meal, Mexican food. She loved anything that was spicy. Uh, my favorite time of day is in the morning. Hobbies, gardening, the Mary Kay roses are thriving. She says she collects um, bohem porcelain. And you can see that when you go to her office, she had this case behind her, these beautiful porcelain that she has collected through the years. I'm motivated by hearing top directors and national sales directors speak. It says, my trademark cliche is you can do it. Um, my favorite subject in school was debating and English. And then her best advice I'd give a 20 year old is, I love this, go work for someone doing what you want to do and learn that business. And she says, it says, who would you love to have a conversation with? And she said, Jesus. And people describe me as their mentor. And the last, it says, I knew I'd made it win. And she said, when we went public and I received a check for $1,800,000. And, you know, then later Mary Kay actually bought all the stock back so that the family could own it again. Because some of the stock, I don't know if y'all know this, but some of the people that own stocks um, had written to her and said, you know, you, we would make, you could make a lot more money if you ditch the pink Cadillacs, if you, you know, cut back on the commissions and all this kind of stuff like that. And, you know, Mary Kay asked somebody, says, who, who wrote that? How much stock did they have? You know, it's like 1% or something. And later the family bought all the stock back so that it's privately owned again. And that way, that's how we can win like diamond rings and all this stuff. Cause they thought that was very frivolous you know, and it was a, it was a waste of money, you know, so I think that's pretty cool, but one of the, another thing that was in this magazine that I thought was so impressive was that it shows back here, just like our magazines today, some of the checks, and, you know, this is, now think about this, this is 1993, okay, so almost 30 years, is that right, is that right, 2020. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so, you know, 2020 will be 30, you know, 30, our 60th year anniversary. So almost 30 years ago, I want to show, read you this. So like the top national, almost 30 years ago, her check was $68,000 in one month, $68,000 in one month, almost 30 years ago. 
Is that not amazing? That was the wonderful Shirley Hutton. Um, it's funny, my national, um, Adele Moffat is in here. I mean, it's just really cool seeing all these. And then they have pictures of the new sales directors. One of the new sales directors, my friend Sylvia Kalakak, who's a national sales director. And this is when she debuted as a director. And so anyway, and then it also shows some things like the top um, recruiting units for the month. And so the top recruiting units um, had 53 new recruits, 30 new recruits, 31 new recruits. 30 new recruits, Kathy Hallou, who just recently retired as a Mary Kate Emeritus National Sales Director, her unit that month had um, 30 new recruits, this is like for the month of May. And so anyway, this is pretty cool. Um, in the comments um, on YouTube, I will, in the comments, I'll actually put the link on that so that y'all can see that, okay? So that y'all can see all that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the new, the new products, all right? So this is the new lookbook. Now all of this comes out on, it comes out on February the 10th for those of you that were star consultants or that uh, participated in the preferred customer program and sent your customer the books. Otherwise, all the consultants can order on the 15th or, and then everybody can, that's on both order forms, one we have now and then the new one or the, and then the 16th that officially launches. Okay, so these are the beautiful new lookbooks. And then uh, you will see all of the new products and the theme which we saw this at leadership conference. It says when you're a standout and it's really, really just some beautiful, beautiful new products. So I'm going to show them all to you right now. Okay. So first is one product you already have. Okay. But they're making it one of our, um, our regular lines. I think regular line. Let's see if it's regular or if it's a limited edition. And it's this little petite compact. Uh, okay, it's gonna be regular line. So you may remember this little compact. We had it last fall, just a few months ago, and it fits four eyeshadows in it. So I'm not gonna open this one up, but it fits four eyeshadows. And this is coming out, which is great when people just want just a few eyeshadows, or maybe just like a cheek and one eyeshadow. Um, and so it's only $8, okay? So this little, it's called a petite palette. All right, so it's just a little tiny compact. All right, so that's one thing. So you might already have some of those for what we have before, okay? Okay, the other compact is so beautiful. First of all, check out the box. Okay, so this is our the box of the new compact. And this has, um, this is a limited edition one and it's called Beauty Unearthed. Isn't that just gorgeous? And so this is just like the one that we have and you can put whatever you like in it, but Mary Kay actually has two things that will look really pretty in it, which are our two new bronzers. They're called Illuminating Bronzers. And so I'll show you both of them. This one is called, this one's called Copper Glow. Let's see if you can see it. And so you can just stick that one on one side if you wanted to. And then this one is called, it's called uh, Gilded Glow, uh, Gilded Glow and it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so it's got gold all swirled in there. And when you put them both in this beautiful compact, it's just so nice. And so this, of course, you use as a bronzer after you put your makeup on, you can hit your cheeks. You can actually use it even as eyeshadow. You can put some on your nose. It's just for bronzing, okay? Even on your shoulders, on your chest, wherever you wanna put it. It's so pretty and got a really pretty mirror too. So that is the gorgeous compact. It's called uh, Beauty Unearthed. Okay, now we've also got, and by the way, those the bronzers are limited edition and they are 18 a piece and the compact is 18 as well, all right? So we've got a brand new product that's going to our regular line. And this is um, a brand new waterproof liquid eyeliner pen and it's called Intense Black. And I've got it on today. What's so great about it? I like the other one, but this one is waterproof. So it doesn't smudge, stays on all day. It gives you a really fine line. I just love it. I mean, it's like, it's funny. I like the other one, but I do like this one better. I mean, as soon as I got it, now I can't go back to the other one. So um, this is going to be, I'll tell you how much it is. So that you'll have it. Okay, this is 16. And this will replace the one that we have right now. Okay, so you can go ahead and, and sell those and then get these. All right, so that's the liquid. So that's going to be regular line. Okay, then they also have come out with four new 
regular line lipsticks in the semi matte colors. Okay, so I'm going to show them to you. The first one I actually have on, and I just love this one because I love the name of it. It's called Trademark Pink. Okay, so this is Trademark Pink. You've probably seen, if you're on Facebook, you've seen some people have this on. It's just a beautiful color. I just love it. Okay, so that is one of them. We also have one called Blush Velvet, and this color is kind of like more of a nude. So see, it's a little bit more just a nude peachy. I think it's gonna be really pretty too. All right, so that's called Blush Velvet. And then we've got, this one is called Berry Famous. And it's a beautiful berry shade. I've already worn all of these. Okay, that, isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful berry sh uh, shade, and y'all know these stay on so good. And so these join the regular line. So you're gonna be able to get these so they have samples for these as well, okay? And then this last one is called Red Stiletto. And it is just a really pretty true red. I'll put it against the pink so y'all can see the difference, all right? So those are our four new lipsticks. These are 18. And so it's kind of gonna be easy for y'all to remember the prices of everything because the compact, the bronzers and the lipsticks are 18. And then the eyeliner is 16, little compact is eight. And then they've got a little fun limited edition product. <laughs> and let me make sure it's limited and not, not regular line. No, it's regular line. Okay, so this is gonna be regular line too. So all of this stuff, when you get ready to place your orders, I mean, you can order as much as you want because it's not limited and it's gonna stay on our order form. So, you know, right now we have our cream eye colors in the little pods. So these are gonna replace the cream eye colors. I have them on today, I just love them. And these are called liquid, um, liquid eyeshadow is what they're called. And so there's a bunch of different colors. This one is called light beam, okay? And so I put this one on all over, but I've also saw a girl today, she did like um, the medium nude, lip liner and then put a little bit of this on her lips. It was beautiful. So I'm anxious to play around with that. Okay. So that's called light beam. There's four colors. And then this one is called starlit pink. Isn't that pretty? I just, that is, I, I haven't tried that one yet because I just got it in. It is really pretty. This one is called purple Nova and it is gorgeous. Okay. And then this last one, which I have on today is called Meteor Shower. And I just put it on my lid. And then I put a little bit of um, the burnished bronze, I think is what it's called right here on the side. But I just, this one is so pretty. And they just stay on. I mean, I put this early this morning and I've been to church, to a wedding, watch the Super Bowl. I mean, I've been all over the place. And the only thing I updated was I put on some new lipstick because <laughs> I want y'all to see this color. Okay, so that is the, the line for the new spring line, our new products in here. They are beautiful and they've got some really, really pretty um, looks for the spring in here that use the new colors. They're calling it five minute face, just absolutely gorgeous. And they have all these little petites. They have some really cute, different um, looks that you can put together and sell for your customers. And so anyway, I love them. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be really fun and really easy to sell when the products come out for you guys to purchase. And so that's one of the reasons you want to be a director so that you can get to order this stuff early, right? And so anyway, that's the spring lineup. Um, Mary Kate is doing a special in February. I guess the big news is that any new consultant that signs up, they get a free satin lip set with their starter kit. And so it has the lip scrub and it also has the lip balm and in a cute little bag too, which I use this at my parties. And so I love having this. And I'll just tell you that, you know, I recently, I did a facial yesterday to kind of start off the month and um, she just loved all of that. I did the, the eye patch, remember I've been telling y'all about that. I did the eye patch under one eye. We did the charcoal mask here. We did microderm on the back of the hands. We did satin lips. And, you know, she um, uh, she bought about $267, just about everything I put on her, honestly. And thinking about becoming a consultant too. So, I mean, this product does sell, you guys. If you just reach out, get some people 
at your table or at their table and let them try it. So I know that my goal this month, this is my 31st year as a sales director in Mary Kay. Yesterday, I debuted as a sales director 31 years ago. And so I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. So really, you know, I look at this magazine and different things like that. I'm like, this is just hard for me to believe how long I've been in the company. It'll be 35 years this September. And so I think about the changes in the company and everything we've been through and all the, you know, not that really downs, but you know, everybody has struggles in their life and all the things that I've been through since I've been in Mary Kay and it's grown up with me. And then I thought about how I felt yesterday after my friend left. And she was so excited about her products. And I got so many text messages from her yesterday afternoon, even this morning, thanking me again for taking the time to spend with her one-on-one -on -one and make her feel beautiful yesterday. And she said, you'll never know how much I needed it. I mean, that's what it's all about. And I thought, I'm just excited today as I was when I joined. And I'm just excited, you know, to teach and train you guys as I want with as I was when I was 26 years old as a brand new baby director, not even knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> so for all of you that are out there, it's going to grow with you if you don't give up and you don't quit and you just keep, keep on keeping on. And so this month, I have a big old goal for my unit. I thought, you know what, 31 years, we need 31 new team members. I'm going to do 31 faces. We want to do 31,000 wholesale. And I am looking for some uh, consultants to, um, to do this with me. So if you want to take the challenge with me and it may not, it's not your 31st anniversary, but you can do it with me and do 31 faces in the month of February. It'll change how you feel about your company, how you feel about your business. It'll change 31 women for the better. And I guarantee you, you'll make some money and you'll have some fun and you'll probably get some team members as well. All right. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. And I am going to let the sales directors that are on here um, if you'd like to say something, that would be awesome. And so I'm going to, um, just let Sayla go and then, um, Rosie, oh, Katie is on here. Okay. Well, let me just say this. We have a little shout out and she's going to, we're going to have Jana Strunk and Katie Harris talk with you guys next week on the Boss Babe call. And they're going to, Jana's going to kind of interview Katie, but Katie is a brand new Boss Babe director. She's been on here since she joined, I guess, or, you know, I've been seeing her, her, uh, her name on here and her speak. And I just can't wait to get to know you better, Katie. We are so excited for you. All the Boss Babe directors, we welcome you with open arms. And so matter of fact, I'm gonna let you just jump on here and just say something first and then we'll get to know you a little bit more next week too. So um, Katie, I'm gonna go ahead and just unmute you right now. Where are you, Katie? Hang on. Hang on, Sister Katie. Oh, I, I, hang on just a minute. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. We are running live on, on um. No, I can't find you on here, Katie. Katie, if you can unmute yourself, that'll be great. Let me close. Can you up. hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you, girl. Yeah. Hey, Cleta. Hey. <laughs> thank you for having the call tonight. Um, I am so excited to be a part of this. I've been excited to be a part of Boss Babe since I joined um a while back, but. Um, I'm so excited to tell you guys about my journey in DIQ next weekend. And um, thank you, Cleta, tonight for sharing the applause from 93. You know, um, it's amazing to think about how in 93 you had been in the company for eight years because that's how long I've been in the company in 2020. Um, and just to see, I loved hearing Mary Kay's favorites. Um, it's so amazing because I've, I've always held her at such a high standard, which we, sh I mean, we should, she's such an amazing lady. Um, but then you see her, um, be more real or you see a side of her, I guess I should say, um, when you're reading through that applause and then to hear you say that a bunch of the top directors, how they're, how they're nationals now, that's yeah. incredible. Um, so, so anyway, I'm just, thank you for having the call tonight. Um, I'm also committed to doing 30 faces. In February, I'm so excited for my first month as a director just to see um, our unit grow and um, to see myself continue to grow personally because that's happened a lot over these last three months. So I'm um, just excited to be a part of it. So. Awesome. And listen, thank you. I know you are over there in Kansas City and you guys are taking a break from the game to jump on the call. I'm impressed. I really didn't, I really didn't think you'd be on here. So anyway, thank you, Katie. And uh, we just love you. We're so proud of you. And 
I just can't wait to hear all the good things you're going to tell us next week. So y'all got, you guys don't miss the call next week. Okay. So yep. next, um, we are going to, we're going to do Sayla. Let me unmute you, Sayla, if I can. All right. Hang on, you guys. I got to, somehow I've done mess myself up. Let me just unmute everybody. Everybody. Well, Sayla, I don't think I can unmute you because the thing is, is got me messed up here. Oh, here we are. Yes, I can. Don't give up, Cleta. It's just, it's just technology. All right, Sayla, you're on. <laughs> Thank you, Cleta. Hey, everybody. Um, congratulations, Katie, on being a new sales director. What an awesome achievement. We are so glad to have you. And Cleta, thank you for the call tonight. Um, we did talk about some of this the other night at the meeting, but it it is awesome to hear um, just the, the tidbits about Mary Kay and who she was as a woman. And um, it, to me, even though I've been in, gosh, 24 years now, there were things on that list that I had no idea about. So, I am so glad you found that applause magazine <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm excited about the new spring products. Uh, we, our unit had an awesome month last month and we are looking to double that this month. So we are going to be running to the finish line for seminar and um, I just can't wait and see what the next four or five months brings. Thank you. Yes. Me too, girl. Me too. <laughs> All right, Sayla. Okay. Um, Rosie, I'm going to unmute you. Hi, Cleta. Hi, everybody. Cleta, thank you so much for leading the call tonight. Yeah, I did take a break. I have no idea what the score is, but when I came in, they were losing. So um, I haven't heard too much yelling from out there. So things are kind of quiet. So that's probably not good. But anyway, um, so I wanted to um, just thank you for the call. I love, you know, you, you posted that, um, you scanned the magazine and you posted it. And I've pretty much looked through the whole thing. And, and it was really interesting. You know, I've only been in the company now. Um, it'll be five years in August to the end of August. So I feel like I'm still learning so much about, you know, the history behind it. So I really, really enjoyed looking at that magazine and just the names that I recognize now, you know, um, that were in there. And, uh, and I am super excited to have Katie join us. Um, it's been really exciting. I've known Katie, you know, since I started and always looked up to her. Of course, I look up to everybody because I'm short, but I really do look up to her. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm, I'm just so amazed at how she pushed through a lot of adversity to finish off DIQ. I, I really am. Um, also, I am also excited about the new products. You know, even though I've seen them all, I sat here just watching you like I'd never seen them before. So, you know, I think they're going to be great. Um, I'm just really excited. I think it's going to be a great, a great spring. So thank you for doing the call, Cleta. Oh, yes. Thank you, Rosie. Love you, girl. I love all my boss babe directors and all my boss babe consultants. And um, let me just say that we have a bunch of YouTubers so, hey, all my YouTuber ladies that are just jumped in on YouTube, we try something different tonight because I can actually stream straight from Zoom to YouTube. So all of you that spoke are also on there. So it's pretty awesome. So anyway, I am going to just go ahead and end the call tonight because I know some of you are trying to watch the game. Um, it's funny, when I went to leadership conference a couple of weeks ago, I'm like, now when is the Super Bowl? Now who's playing the Super Bowl? So I'm not really that much into NFL, but I do try to watch, you know, at least kind of know who's playing. And I did know about the Chiefs and I'm cheering them on for Rosie and Jana and Katie and everybody else, you know, in the Kansas City area. And plus, I like an underdog. So I'm, I know they're going to have a comeback and they're going to win. That's just my prediction, right? So anyway, you guys have a great week. Let's really make this first week of February count. We have a whole extra day in the month to do something great with that 29th day, right? And so this is our month to really kick it in. And, and congratulations to all of you that maxed out your double credit last month and that are way ahead of the game. And uh, for those of you that maybe fell a little short, it's okay. You know what? It's a new month. We cannot change last month. Uh, we can have the best February and typically I just, you know, I, I have a good February. And let me tell you about as a consultant, what you do in February is big because it also counts for where you land for career conference. And so if you're not in your red jacket, you want to get in red so you can walk across the state, 
walk across that career conference stage as a red jacket, which is of course star team builder with three active team members. And then you get to go to a special training right before career conference from 3.30 to five at the city of your choice. And um, it's a big deal, it's a big deal. Also for the consistency club, if you've done 600 all three months and get a personal recruit, you get to go to the very special luncheon. And so, um, and then, but even if you don't get the recruit, you get a special bracelet at career conference but you do have to go to get your prize so it's a good month to wrap it up and just let's you know stretch for as much as you can between now and career conference deadline which would be the end of the month so you want to get registered commit for that first get your roommates figure out how you get in there and then let's really get with it and have an amazing month so i can't wait to see y'all next week thank y'all for jumping on here and um I know that all the other gals that uh, couldn't get on here tonight will watch it later. So anyway, you guys have a great one. And thanks again for calling in. Love you guys. All right, ladies, I'm going to go ahead and end the meeting and stop it on YouTube at the same time, I think. So <laughs> here we go.